Good morning, everyone. It is time for your best you, trying to give you some ideas how to make yourself a better person. And we have just the person joining us in studio right now to take care of that. Yeah, we have an expert herself, uh, Sherry Clark, who joins us all the time talking about ways of making you a better you. But a lot of times you also like to reach out and, and instruct us or interview others that can add to things you like to talk about. I do, and I'm hosting an interview series. I do two of these a year. Mm -hmm. This one's called The Magnificent Midlife Woman. I am so excited. I have been telling you about some of my guests, and I wanted today to tell you a little bit about what I've learned from them. And I don't know if I, if I brought along a video that I was going to share with you that tells just a really quick little bit about it to set us up. Okay, let's, let's take, take a, a look, look at that right now. Do you ever look in the mirror and wonder who the heck that is looking back at you? I know I do. And while I agree that with age comes wisdom, age also brings a need to accept change. Like changes in weight and where it settles, changes in skin, hair, sleep habits, energy, and of course changes in muscle tone. Really? Wrinkles on my knees? Oh, and let's not forget memory. Which reminds me, I'm Sherry Clark, host of The Magnificent Midlife Woman. It's a series of short, solution-based interviews with experts who speak from experience, and believe me, I'm known for asking some really insightful questions. You'll be a VIP guest at my party when you check the button that says, I'd love to. And after that, I'll send you an email with all the details. It's going to be a lot of work, but why do you do this, Sherry? <laughs> because this is very, uh, you know, you, you occupy a lot of your time, but it's very beneficial. It does, and here's the reason that I do it and host it myself. I have listened to so many of them and have found just one thing that has literally changed my life, and I want to be that person that can bring it to other people. Wow. And I'm completely serious. You can hear, you, you've had that experience mm -hmm. before. Somebody will make one suggestion and you go, ah. Yeah, I, you or know. you get one comment and that's what triggers yeah. something yes. else. Yes, yeah. and it, very often it can be something that changes your career. It could be changing how you parent, how you raise your kids, how you wh what you look at your relationships as. Right. And th that's the reason that I do it. So I picked people that have something to teach. And what I wanted to do today was share with you what I've learned from just a couple of my experts. Okay. Like okay. Maybe a couple of aha moments this morning. Yeah, so for me. There you go. So what, what, what would you like to share with us today? I'm going to start down by you, Jackie, okay. and I'm going to talk about Andrea Flammer, who wrote Shopping for the Real You, and I brought that purse behind there because if I had read that book before I bought that purse, I might not have bought that purse. Really? And I, yeah. Because Why? It, it's fabulous. It's a fabulous <laughs> purse for certain things, and, and yet... It's a purse that I bought 15 years ago and haven't used. Yeah. And so it's we've all got those. Yes, do, we do. Do you have that? Yes, we do. <laughs> so thinking about what you have, how it interacts with the things that you already are using, what looks good on you, what, why are you buying things, and why are you wearing the things that you're wearing the way that you're wearing them? Okay. okay. Lou, you're, you're looking perplexed. No, no I'm just, just saying it, it seems like some common sense things, but you just need to be reinforced. Well, yes. a lot of times, I, especially, I'm glad you brought this person, but it's, a lot of times we're drawn to the shiny, yeah. quote unquote, gold things, and it's like, oh, I gotta have that. But in the reality of who you really are and what you do on a regular basis, maybe it doesn't always make the perfect make the most sense. Yeah. Or you buy something on sale because you're losing money if you don't. Right, you know? it's on sale. <laughs> it's a sale, I gotta have it's it. We've heard that thing. time <laughs> and time again. Exactly, right. exactly. Uh, next I've got Kari Schaefer, and she, is, she talks about food and its relationship to our health and our life. Not a new concept, right? But what I really liked about her, and I brought the coffee along because well, this is coffee. I was thinking it was like kombucha or something. No, it's a coffee, a okay. cold brew coffee. Because I have a love-hate relationship with coffee. And there are times that I think of, like, I'm on coffee. I know I shouldn't be on it, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm needing it. Right. And then you go off of it, and you're yep. proud of yourself. I like her because she kind of shoots down the middle and talks about sometimes certain things that you think of as not being good for you might actually be under certain situations and certain occasions. Okay. So for me, coffee is not a good thing all the time but there are times that it absolutely is a good thing. And it's not just because I need a shot of artificial energy. Mm -hmm. She also talks about things that, one of the things that I really liked was, I don't make eggs at home. I'm vegetarian, I, don't, I just don't do that. She reminded us when you crack an egg, there's a way to tell if it's fresh. And by looking at the whites, by looking at the yolks, what colors are they? So it's things like that that we knew once and forgot that she brought back for me. So I love that and I loved her 21 day um, diet. Mm -hmm 
protocol. I love to do those. Maybe you do too, Jackie, mm -hmm. where they give you a prescription. You don't have to think. You just follow the rules. And when you come out the other side, you've learned some new things. Kind of, kind wow. of a reset and take away things that you enjoyed about that process. I, I, that. I, I agree yeah. that. But thank you for saying coffee's okay every once in a while. Coffee's <laughs> okay <laughs> once in a while. You just have to decide on what your relationship yes, is. I agree with that too. Kira Barr, is it Kira's the next one? No, sorry, uh, Carol Tuttle. Um, it talks about chakras, and we think of chakras as being our energy fields. Right. And what I learned from her was there are things, you, usually you think to yourself, you know what, I'm in an energy suck, I'm in a bad zone, there's nothing I can do except wait it out. Right. She talks about movement, essential oils, and sometimes just even our thought processes. How, if your throat chakra is stuck, yeah. you've got a short, sore throat, you're having a hard time expressing yourself, she talks about exercises and things that you can do, even including, for example, singing. Singing is an exercise. Singing is an exercise for getting you used to being able to express your truth. If you're not speaking up about something, mm -hmm. you have a relationship issue, and you're not getting out of that, so something as simple as practicing singing can get you used to, and which makes sense. The sound coming out, your voice exercising your reality. Kind of break out of the mold. Then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Kira Barr uh, is a dermatologist. Skin is so important. Mm -hmm. It's how we. It's a, it's the face that we present to the right. world. So I brought a chocolate bar. Of course yeah. you did. <laughs> Good. Because food, as we know, is so important. Not just what we put on our skin, mm -hmm. you know, but but the things that we consume. She, what I really loved about her is she gave us recipes, and her recipes are things, high protein things, things that have a lot of good oils and whatnot in them, and she doesn't demonize chocolate. Good. She, yes, she <laughs> says that it's okay, so, so just pick your moments, just like at the other end of the spectrum. We, kn we need to know when it's okay to be consuming things. Got it. Finally, Abby Rodman, She's a relationship person. She talks about surviving divorce or the dissolution of a relationship. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to think about that. And most of us want to think about taking the high road. We want to be the person that, that has the integrity, that comes out of it looking like we've done the right thing. Mm -hmm. What I liked about her was that she made you think about, made me think about other things. For example, people who have parent or parents co-parenting and the relationship d dissolves. Right. One of the things that she talked about, this was just a, su such an aha for me. She said, when we, we train our kids, when, we, when they come back from something, an experience, and we say, was it fun? First question that we ask. She said, one of the things that you're training your kids to do is to believe that fun is the most important thing. So maybe a better solution would be for both parents to agree, Tell, tell me about your experience. Yeah. How was it? Yeah. And not put your values your on, label it. on it. Your label on it, Exactly. Mm -hmm. So a little thing like that. So that's what I, I wanted to bring along. I don't have children. That piece of information may not be something that I use in my everyday life mm -hmm. immediately, but it will affect how I interact with kids. Right. And so forth. So. And have you used those practices w when in conversations? Absolutely. Yes, I absolutely have. And I've used, like, these are, I didn't just make this up. These are real things. I'm going to sell that purse. Jackie, do you want a purse? <laughs> <laughs> it Got is a, a nice deal. purse. A deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at how I drink coffee. Yeah, these are things that I learned just as being host of the series. So wow. join me. There is something for everybody. And how many uh, do we have? How many different? Twenty-two offices? different. Twenty-two. Yes. Okay. And um, we started yesterday. If you if you sign up today, and we we've got the information for that. If you sign up today, um, you still get to have access to yesterday's guest for another twenty-four hours. I wonderful. I wonderful. I, I love it that you everyone can learn a little something, but there's also some great point of views from someone who's more in midlife. It's one thing when you're going through a divorce or a separation when you're young. It changes when yes. you get older and other things are involved as well. So get all those perspectives, all the knowledge, all in one place. And that yes. is? That's MagnificentMidlifeWoman.com. Mm -hmm. and, um, and if somebody wants to reach out to me and tell me what they think of it, I hope that they will. And you'll email me at info at fork-road.com. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Great idea. And great, uh, you know, great collection of interviews that you've put together here. Yep, thank great so collection much. of experts. So thank you for thank hearing you. about it. Absolutely. All right, 921 right now. Don't go too far. You know there's a lot of great music happening happening around this town of ours and we're going to find out where they're located. That's next right here with the great music local showcase on Iowa Live.